every single provider is different. We're licensed the same, and, and in writing it says we do the same thing. But there's drastic differences. And you know why that is? Because the people that come here, the people that we serve, are drastically different. Exactly. And we can't lump them all into one big category and say this will work for every person that you serve because this is the criteria or the <laughs> assessment that we've come up with. It just doesn't work that way. So for 30 years of my life, I've been getting up every morning for the purpose of providing that choice, that choice thing that everybody talks about. That's what we do every day. That's what all the people that work here and take care of, and that's what they do every day. So we can't, we somehow have to figure out within the whole system how to preserve choice for some and give choice to others. Does that make sense? I, I personally, because I've got my whole life invested in this, am not willing to sacrifice 30 people so two can have a wonderful life. I, it, I, I, can't, I can't do it. It's not in me, okay? And you as parents, boy, I hope your son or daughter is not in the 30 that, you know, it just ain't gonna work out because they can't work at McDonald's. I'm sorry, it's just not going to work out. I don't want to be the person that has to tell you that. I don't want to be the provider that has to say to you, these individuals are all the people that we can serve because that's all we can afford to serve. Or I don't have enough staff to serve your son or daughter. I'm sorry, they'll have to go on a waiting list. Um, we'll give you a call. They can be at home with you for the next two years while we get around to being able to provide service. I hope we never get there. But I'm, I'm seeing a really slippery slope right now, at least in our situation here.